Hey, Grace First, Todd and I want you to know that we certainly miss worshiping with you today. Um, we hope that you would take advantage of the Lord's Day today as a family unit, as you open up God's Word together and just have a devotion uh, with yourselves and just praise God and to do what you're created to do, uh, to rejoice in Jesus Christ, to praise his name, to exalt his name, and uh, to worship together. Uh, we do have a few announcements that I want to give you. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we have the Acts card available. Um, this is one way that we try to come alongside you as a pastoral staff to encourage you for scripture memorization. Uh, so we kind of have the uh, series on the front and then on the back, the um, scripture memorization that we uh, want you to uh, study and to memorize. And uh, so we have those available and you can pick one up in the foyer on the table, uh, add it to the collection that you already have to the other series that we've gone through. I believe that we're going to have three uh, for this for the uh, Acts series. So this is the first of, of the three that we're going to provide as we work through uh, Acts. Uh, secondly, I uh, just want to remind you of uh, men's and women's Bible study that happens on Monday evenings. If you're a part of that, uh, please be a, on a lookout for an email. I'm going to contact uh, the leaders to figure out a, a game plan to move forward uh, to see whether or not uh, they want to do that by Zoom, whether or not they want to postpone. Uh, we'll try to figure all that out, keep you updated. Of course, all is dependent upon what the weather does and what the roads look like. And uh, but uh, we will we will communicate with you. So look look for an email uh, concerning updates on the men's and women's ministry that meets on Monday evenings. Uh, third, I want to update you on a student event that we're going to be ha uh, having in March. Uh, it's going to be March 18th through the 20th, and uh, th this is what we're calling a Disciple Now weekend. And um, it's one way that we can come alongside our students and uh, to just pour our lives out into them. Uh, this weekend is going to be uh, full of um, worship uh, service projects. Uh, it's going to include um, devotion time, small group time. It's going to include, uh, of course, fun and activities and, and food. And so we are asking you as a church to partner with us. Uh, for this event, uh, first and foremost, we ask that you would partner with us in prayer and pray specifically that God would use the theme of this weekend um, to, to uh, really uh, remind our students that God wants to glorify himself in their lives. Uh, he wants to use them for his glory. So the theme for the weekend is make it matter. It stems from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, where Paul reminds us that God Yes, he does save us um, uh, through faith in Christ alone. And uh, it's not of any works uh, of our own. Uh, it's through his grace um, colliding with our life and opening up our eyes and our hearts and our minds to the realization of our need for, for a savior. But he also saves us for good works. Um, not that we work to earn our salvation, but we do good works because of salvation, because there's transformation that has taken place. And Paul says that we are created in Christ Jesus. We are God's workmanship, and he has already created us for good works to live out in him. And so we want our students to know that um, they can make their life matter for the glory of God and that God wants to make it matter for his glory. So be in prayer about that. Uh, but another way that you can partner with us is to help provide food. And uh, so we're going to have some sign-up sheets uh, available. It lets you know what, what slots that we need. Uh, we hope that you would partner with us in that, and that way we can make this uh, a very successful um, time for, for, for our students. Well, next week we're going to be picking up in Acts chapter 3. If you remember that Todd concluded Acts chapter 2 last week, uh, how would God continue to grow his church? How would God um, disciple uh, these new babes in the faith? Um, well, he does it through uh, through a discipleship process. The, the disciples met together in the homes. We saw what a healthy church looks like. It's a church that is committed to the word of God. It's a church that's committed to prayer. It's a church that's committed to the Holy Spirit. It's a church that remains open and available to be used by God, to reach the community and to be generous. Um, it's a church that takes seriously the Lord's Supper. Um, these are just vital signs of a healthy church. And we, we find that established in Acts chapter 2. Well, moving into Acts chapter 3, we find Peter and John going to the temple, and it was there that they healed a lame beggar through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of Christ. Jesus used, uses that miracle to set the stage for Peter uh, to proclaim the gospel once again. And look, there's a lot of different gospels uh, proclaimed um, in our culture today uh, that are not the true gospel. 
Uh, we have the health, wealth, and prosperity gospel. We have a progressive gospel. Yes, the gospel is liberating, but it's not a liberal gospel. Um, there's also a watered-down version of the gospel. There's so many churches today that just want to remain so seeker-sensitive that they are not willing to just call sin, sin. Um, again, there's a lot of different false gospels. And so what we're going to learn uh, in Acts chapter 3 is that, that Peter debunks all of that. God establishes his church on, on Jesus Christ and the true gospel of Jesus Christ. And uh, so we just want to encourage you with that. And uh, hopefully uh, that will uh, equip you also uh, to be able to uh, realize that, that um, you know, once you saturate yourself with, with the true gospel, you're able to call out any other false gospel that, that may come your way. So we'll, we'll take a look at that and see, see how God wants to use that for our time of edification and, and the worship of him. Uh, if you have any prayer requests, if you have any praises, uh, please let us know. We want to come alongside you and, and, and remember you in those things. Uh, if you have any prayer updates, let us know. I know that there's so many people that, that continue to ask about updates that we send requests out about. And if you help us, um, you know, with those updates, we'll send those out so that people will be notified of, of how God answers those prayers that we've been praying for. Uh, so please, uh, help us, help us with that as well. Um, uh, church, we love you. And if you have any questions or concerns or any way that we can come alongside you to shepherd you, uh, to care for you, uh, let us know. Uh, we're here for you. Uh, and we hope, Lord willing, uh, that we'll be able to gather again next week. God bless.